If you're a film aficionado who likes to know all the behind-the-scenes wardrobe secrets from some of Hollywood's biggest hits, keep watching to learn about the numerous actors who were put into harm's way just because of what they had to wear on set. Facts First presents movie costumes that almost killed the actors who wore them. Jennifer Lawrence, X-Men Jennifer Lawrence was cast to play Mystique in the X-Men franchise of films years before appearing in the hit Hunger Games trilogy and Silver Linings Playbook. It took Lawrence more than seven hours every day to get into makeup for the filming of X-Men First Class, and that uncomfortable process involved her being poked and prodded in the nude by six women. Unfortunately, that proved to be only the beginning of her suffering. Lawrence later told reporters that the paint used to transform her into Mystique resulted in her suffering from a series of weird boils, rashes, and nasty skin blisters. For the filming of the second film, Days of Future Past, the process was somewhat amended, so Lawrence only had to be painted from the neck up. Even so, it took three hours, and she hated the process every bit as much. She even considered turning down the part. Lawrence was also concerned she might sustain permanent damage from having to breathe in hazardous materials for multiple hours each day. Kate Winslet, Titanic 1997's Titanic was one of the highest-grossing films of all time. While many people consider it their favorite, for actress Kate Winslet, filming Titanic was almost deadly. While filming a scene alongside co-star Leo DiCaprio that saw the two running from a wave that was crashing against a closed gate, Winslet's coat got caught and she nearly got stuck underwater. Fortunately, she was able to free herself in just enough time to get to safety. Buddy Ebsen, Wizard of Oz the iconic 1939 movie The Wizard of Oz is infamous for the numerous deadly problems on and off set. Several of the cast and crew members ended up dying in rather horrific ways. Actor Buddy Ebsen, who originally played the Tin Man before being replaced by Jack Haley, was one of the most famous victims. To obtain the character's signature silvery appearance, MGM had Ebsen covered in white face paint that was then coated with aluminum dust. Nine days after filming had begun, Ebsen was rushed to the hospital with shortness of breath and intensely painful cramping. He was hospitalized for two weeks, but at one point his lungs began to fail. Fortunately, he recovered and eventually landed the role of Jed Clampett on the Beverly Hillbillies and the title role on Barnaby Jones. Ebsen died of respiratory failure in Torrance, California in 2003 at age 95. Jonathan Rhys Davies, The Lord of the Rings Jonathan played Gimli in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. The makeup and prosthetics he had to wear to get into character caused him to suffer a severe allergic reaction that left him in constant pain. It was so bad he could only work one of every three days. When he was asked to reprise his role in the Hobbit trilogy, he declined because he didn't think his skin could take that kind of abuse again. Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man while the classic upside-down kiss with Mary Jane in Spider-Man is one of the most iconic superhero film scenes of all time, in reality, it wasn't nearly as romantic. As Tobey Maguire was suspended upside down, his mask forced water into his nose and mouth. The actor later reported he nearly drowned during the making of the scene. This video is sponsored by Zbiotics. Zbiotics is a probiotic drink that helps you feel better the day after drinking. Many people think dehydration is responsible for that morning after feeling, but it's actually due to an alcohol byproduct that builds up in the gut. Zbiotics produces an enzyme specifically to break down this byproduct and reduce the after effects of alcoholic beverages. This is real science that works, not random vitamins and plant extracts like everything else. And Zbiotics is so easy to use. Just drink a bottle of Zbiotics before your first drink of alcohol. You only need one bottle. Then drink responsibly, pace yourself, and get a good night's sleep. Thanks to Zbiotics, you can enjoy your next day feeling refreshed and ready to make the most of it. Every time I have Zbiotics before drinking, I am amazed at how good I feel the next day. With the holiday season upon us, consider gifting Zbiotics to give the gift of a better next morning. It's unique, thoughtful, and under $40. If you use the code FACTSFIRST at checkout, you can get an extra 15% off your first order. Click the link in the description or go to zbiotics.com slash FACTSFIRST and get 15% off. Scarlett Johansson, The Avengers Marvel historically has filmed several of the MCU's films in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but shooting in the middle of a hot desert definitely presents a few problems. While filming The Avengers, Scarlett Johansson struggled to maintain a healthy body temp while in her Black Widow costume. While shooting a particularly vigorous fight scene on a makeshift rooftop, Scarlett started hallucinating after suffering from the early signs of heat stroke. Margaret Hamilton, Wizard of Oz 
Margaret Hamilton played the Wicked Witch of the West in The Wizard of Oz. To get her green complexion, she had to have layers of copper-based green makeup applied to her skin. It could only be removed with alcohol and irritated her skin intensely. Not only that, it left her with green stains that took weeks to fade. The makeup also presented a potentially deadly problem. During the scene where the Wicked Witch vanished out of Munchkinland in a flash of smoke and flames, a trapdoor was supposed to open up beneath her so she could get to safety. Unfortunately, during filming, the door didn't open, and Hamilton's makeup and costume caught fire. Her face and hands were burned so badly she needed to spend several days in the hospital to recover. Johnny Depp, Edward Scissorhands In Tim Burton's Edward Scissorhands, Johnny Depp played the shy, augmented humanoid with a penchant for shaping topiaries and wearing bondage gear. The costume he had to wear was made of very tight-fitting leather. While filming a sequence, Depp passed out. At first, the cast and crew thought he was improvising, but it soon became apparent he had fainted. Depp never complained, though, and immediately got back to work after regaining consciousness. Boris Karloff, Frankenstein Boris Karloff became an overnight sensation after playing Dr. Frankenstein's monster in 1931's Frankenstein. But during filming, he had to wear lead-based paint on his skin and a very heavy costume. For weeks, he and the rest of the crew worked 19-hour days. According to his daughter, the actor lost 25 pounds while filming and became dangerously thin. Jim Carrey, The Grinch Comedian and actor Jim Carrey had to wear special contact lenses when he was in costume playing the Grinch in Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The lenses were apparently quite uncomfortable. So much so, Carrey said it felt like knives sticking in his eyes. The rest of the costume was also incredibly uncomfortable. He was left feeling so claustrophobic, he enlisted the help of a former Navy SEAL to help coach him through dealing with the panic attacks he got from wearing it. Star Trek The Next Generation when The Next Generation premiered on TV in 1985, showrunner and creator Gene Roddenberry decided spandex was going to be THE material of the 24th century. Depending on how it's cut, spandex only stretches from top to bottom or side to side. Because of this, the Enterprise's uniforms dug into the cast members' shoulders. Since they had to wear them 12 to 15 hours a day, it didn't take long before many of the show's cast began complaining of painful back problems. Fortunately, the costumes got an upgrade during Season 3 that solved the problem. Tyler Mayne, X-Men Former pro wrestler Tyler Mayne was more than used to playing the tough guy. It was a role he had no problem committing to, so that made him a perfect casting choice to play Sabretooth in the first X-Men movie. He certainly looked the part and did everything to make his mutant character seem believable. He wore specially colored contact lenses, even though a few actors refused to. Halle Berry refused to wear her contacts when playing Storm, and Rebecca Romain only wore her colored lenses for an hour a day. Maine's dedication to his craft led him to develop serious eye problems. Whenever he took the large black contacts out, he was left temporarily blind for the remainder of the day. Michelle Pfeiffer, Batman Returns In Batman Returns, Michelle Pfeiffer did a great job of bringing her character, Catwoman, to life. To prepare, she had to submit herself to some grueling training. She had to practice using her character's signature bullwhip for more than a month before showing it off on camera. While training, her trainer sustained multiple injuries. During one practice session, Pfeiffer sliced open her own face with the 10-foot whip. She had to cover the injury with makeup so Batman's producers wouldn't force her to use a stunt double. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one of these facts was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below.